Hi, and welcome back to the workbench. After printing out a significant amount of the pink PLA that we were checking out from eBay, the cheapest one I can find, you can find the link to the previous look at it below. It was actually, I think, $9.98. Prices have gone up a bit since then. I think the cheapest filament now is probably around $12.30 or $12.50 instead because shipping, tariffs, whatnot. That's in the U.S., of course, if you're somewhere else, then you're probably going to be paying a different price in any case. So let me just get a zoom in on the label. So it was a 2.2 pound or one kilogram spool. You can check the batch number there if you want to try to find similar filament or just take a look at the type of spool they were using. Uh, it's probably generic, but uh, might be some indication anyway. It's tough when you're buying generics because you can't find exactly the same one if you're looking at anything else. So here's a few of the objects I printed out with that spool. There's a chest of resistor component drawers that actually worked pretty well. There's a problem with the printer and a bit of ripple created by the bed vibrating. It's not sitting on a very firm surface so it does tend to create a little bit of ripple or artifacting on very thin parts or edges. Larger parts like the faceplate came out very well surface finish on it's good. Let's take a look at the back side. All the holes are nice symmetric. All the surface area printed out very well. And this is just with the defaults in Slicer. It's the uh, Prusa defaults. It's the Prusa edition of Slicer for their own filament. The Prusa Mint and the just the standard settings didn't change anything for this one. You could probably play around with the temperatures to get slightly better prints, possibly, but seeing as how I didn't really have any issues with it, I didn't mess around with it too much, and I haven't really regretted that. The prints have been coming out well. It actually printed out ball bearings just fine, although I had to mess with the settings on those a bit to get them to print. The problem with the ball bearings is that PLA isn't the best material for them, so they did have a tendency to break apart unfortunately, but uh, aside from that, they actually functioned, well, you can see, they actually function as bearings. If not well, then certainly actually functional, which is, ah, to me, pretty impressive. So that's it. The Pretty Pink PLA came out well. It worked okay. I printed most of the spool so far. I'll keep some of it sitting around so I can get a feed of the diameter of it once I get the tool for checking the diameter with. I'll probably just do that spool since since I haven't had a chance to actually check it yet. And uh, you can look forward to that. Until next time.